everyone. We are back and we are excited just to answer some of your questions that you had this past week or um, just kind of talk about some of the lies that you all once believed and share a little bit about kind of maybe we believe yeah. them too and talk about talk about them over coffee. So grab your mug, put whatever you like to put in that mug and <laughs> let's get started. Angelie, why don't you pull out the first Yes. First thing. Okay. That knock over our little tree guy. <laughs> transparent. I'm being fully really transparent right now. I used to believe that Jesus was way up in the sky and not here beside me. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of like he was floating on a cloud just looking yeah. down. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, like when I was little, I felt like when I wanted to talk to God, I would go out to my trampoline and lay on it and like talk to the clouds. <laughs> yeah. Like you had to be looking up. Yeah, and there's like, you're talking about how Arabella, your little girl, like is kind of even like struggling with that right now, with that concept of like, what do you mean he's right here? Yeah. <laughs> she is, she can't, she's like, I don't see him anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I remember thinking that as a little kid too, and even like, but I think even just as you get older, like you don't realize that you carry that with you, like you might not, it's not as much of like, okay, I don't see you right here next to me. Yeah. But it's like this idea of like, are you really right here? Yeah, it, that, I've felt that so many times. Like, how is it possible that you are? right here like yeah everywhere and how are you like i mean truly okay i get it like i know it right like i know okay you're here with me mm -hmm. you're at angelia's house you're at your house like god's everywhere yeah. but then you really start to think about it and you're like okay i know that and i don't even believe that but what does it look like to live that truth out mm -hmm. that like yeah. okay god i believe that and know that but to truly live that truth out it's talking to you all day long it's recognizing mm -hmm. your presence all day long in my life, in my life, and I think that's where sometimes I really, I still struggle yeah. and like miss the mark. Yeah, I'm not you're not alone in that. Yeah, just like he is. The Bible tells us like he is always near, like he leans in to listen, mm -hmm. um, and he is with us always. So he's gone for that. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I'll do that. Is it gonna be? Wait, something secret. <laughs> All right, Jesus didn't love me because of what I have done. Ooh. Yeah. I don't want to say that's a good one, but I think that's one that we've all mm -hmm. felt at one point in our lives, for sure. Yeah, like that whole idea of like, well, I've just gone, I've done too much, mm -hmm. I've gone too far, and like there's no way that Jesus would want me or love me. And I think, I mean, that stems from what the world tells us, right? Like the world, basically there's a standard that we're supposed to meet. We make it up in our head or somewhere along the way. Yeah. We have conceptualize this idea of like who we are supposed to be in this world and when we fall short of that standard we count ourselves out and mm -hmm. we, the world counts us out um but at the same time the world is the one tempting us yeah to fall short of the standard yeah. um so but then but god it's like he always counts us in he always does always does but that's i mean it's really hard i think i know in my life like when i went through my eating disorder like i didn't i thought i had gone too far for God to ever want me back. Mm -hmm. um, and I just thought, I felt, we always say like, when you feel dirty, you what? You live dirty. Yeah, when you feel gross, you live gross. Yeah. When, when you don't like, um, like I'm in a support group with girls with an eating disorder and we talk about, man, like when you feel just not good and you don't want to take care of yourself. You like you don't and you don't think Jesus wants you. And so even like knowing those truths that he says about you, you're just kind of like, yeah, I just can't believe that. Yeah, you yeah. can't live it out. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard, but I mean, I think just resting in the truth, like, okay, God, He He knows us and loves us and wants us, and He sits with, sits with us in that mm -hmm. muck, like Jesus is in the muck with us. Yeah. And I always say, like, He's not, like, He's not up here saying, like, hey, how you doing? Like, <laughs> when you get back to where you're supposed to be, then you come. I'll be yeah. here. No, He's like down there with us. He's like, hey, I'm right here with you. Mm -hmm. I love you just for who you are. Yeah. But I've got something way better for you. And it's just important that we always remember no matter what, we are just never too far away from grace. It's just not possible. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not. Is that there a good song that goes with that? I don't know. There might be in the future. Yeah, it's the right one. I usually want your right one. Okay. okay. Get the next one. Next one. Okay. And the winner goes to, just kidding. Um, he was just some guy who was a good guy here on earth. Mm. Yeah, he was a good guy. He was a great guy. He was a great guy. Uh, some might say he is a, what is that called, goat? No, he's the goat. He is the That's greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Yep, what? he is the goat. The greatest of all time, yeah. Um, I think something, when I think about hearing that, it's something I hear a lot. It's like, yeah, I mean, we believe Jesus was probably a real dude that lived, and he was a really good yeah. guy. Um, but we were just talking earlier, like, as much as the Bible is 
a spiritual book that helps us with our spiritual life. It is just as much a historical book yeah, that for holds sure. validity. Um, and so if you're someone that's really into that, like just things being valid and having um, evidence and proof, like the Bible, there's a great movie called The Case for Christ. It's also a book. Mm -hmm. And it actually kind of explains the validity of the Bible and why we can trust it, not just as this like encouraging mm -hmm. spiritual book, but as a historical document that we can trust is true. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so I think that's where it kind of, like, he was a good guy, but like also he was real. Like he really lived and he really did what he said he did. Like he really died on the cross and he really arose from the grave. He did, he arose. arose. <laughs> he really arose from the grave three days later and he really is alive. I was actually talking, this reminds me of this story and I was little. So I wonder if you did this. I remember when I finally understood the Easter story of like, oh, he's alive. Mm -hmm. I was reading in my journal this past week because my parents have been cleaning up their house. I found an old journal from when I was like in second grade. And it was telling, it was retelling the story of how um, my friends and I, we had just figured out the Easter story. Mm -hmm. And so we went looking for Jesus because they told us he was alive. Oh. <laughs> and so we were like out in my backyard, like looking for him. Oh, that's sweet. We never found him. But, but he's there. He's always there. He's there. He's there. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just, you know, the, what the Bible says is true, even though it's so supernatural, like that's the whole point. Like our God, yeah. He is supernatural. He, he is. is. He is bigger and complex in this world. So, yeah. All right. It's beautiful. Last one. Sorry. Here we go. All right. Jesus was more proud of me when I did something good. Ooh. What do you guys say about that? Ooh. Yeah. I just always, for a very long time, even into my, I'm only 20 but even in my mature Christian years, mm -hmm. I had a really hard time, like I struggled with believing that if I were doing these things, like let's say my pastor was doing all these awesome things, I needed to do those things, mm -hmm. and when I would do those things, then Jesus would see me and be like, you're doing really good, I'm so proud of you, and yeah. that is not the case, and I struggled with that for years, and it's a miserable way, miserable way to live. Yeah, and I think there's something like in us that we just like, we want, okay, like we see him as our heavenly father, and it's like we want him to be proud of us, right? Yes, we like, want to do good. When my dad says, oh, I'm so proud of you. That's the my, best my, feeling. My earthly dad, you know? I'm like, oh, dad. Thanks. And then when he says, oh, I'm so disappointed in you, oh, I'm like, oh, crawling gosh, the hole. I disappointed my dad. Like, it's terrible. It's the worst. Um, And so, like, we have this perspective of our heavenly father, too, and it's like, okay, when we do good, like, he is proud of us, mm -hmm. but, like, he just loves us for us. Like, yes, yeah. he, like there are moments I'm sure where God is like, you did good, that's good. Mm -hmm. But there are moments where we are just like desperate for love and um, validation and mm -hmm. to be cared for. And in those moments too, he's sitting there, he's going, hey, I'm right here. Yeah. I got you, I'm just right here, I'm so proud of you. And and like he's always in that, that moment of just like a father who, who loves and cares and sometimes mm -hmm. love is discipline and sometimes love is um, hard truths and like living hard stories mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't mean like he is that whole thing we started with like yeah. he doesn't count you out no, no. Um, he's always like he goes after the one like he does mm -hmm. um, and he's always for you he is so for you mm -hmm. um, he's rooting for you and he sees all that you are and loves you and sees all that you can be and just is like come on follow me I got a really good story for you um so yeah I love this, this great great. hands Woo. So, uh, this, yeah um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us today yeah. um it, it's it, good stuff it's good stuff <laughs> and we love these um why that you believed he, we want to just invite you to keep watching this summer series as we just kind of go through some myths lies that we once believed um, and still maybe even struggle with on our faith journey. We want to hear from you, so thanks for sharing. Um, and so just continue to follow along, and you can always comment below, and we're happy to answer any questions you have. Yeah. Have a beautiful week. Bye.